Barry here with a quasi-mystery unboxing, a friend of mine, Treasure Hunting Sonic, who you can find on Instagram and Facebook. He's a big-time Sonic the Hedgehog collector. He recently visited Japan and grabbed a few items that I uh, asked him to keep his eyes out for, and he also included a few items that I had purchased from him uh, both prior and uh, after the trip. And so I haven't looked at this yet, as far as you know, <laughs> and so I'm going to uh, empty it out, see what's in here. I know some of the items, the other ones are uh, surprises, so let's, uh, let's unbox, as they say. Do they say that? I don't know. So, ooh, well, we've got our first little item here it was inside, so this is something I didn't know I was getting. A Sonic the Hedgehog uh, hand towel. I guess it's like a little courtesy thing they give out probably at the Joypolis Arcade. That's really cool. Uh, let's see if there's anything else left in the bag. Oh, yeah. So this is something, actually, he picked up for me. It was a, a pile of uh, Saturn and Sega sampler discs. So there's a few more in there. This one's called That Virtua Feeling, and it's a soundtrack disc. It's very weird, like hardly anything to do with Sega, if at all. It has um, pop music, Sega Saturn promotion, and I just like That Virtua Feeling. That's pretty cool. This one I'm really excited to check out. So this is the Shenmue Sacred Spot Guide Map, and this is what was at the Yokosuka Tourist Bureau or office or whatever. And it's a fold-out guide for Shenmue fans who visit the area. And so here's all the shops and their real-world counterparts. Here's a map of the area and then a larger map for people who visit. It's very cool that they released it in English and Japanese. It's available online as well as a PDF, so if you go there and they're out of these, at least you'll have one, but I think it's really cool to have one for myself. There's uh, places you can eat, so you can go to Yokosuka Navy Curry. Um, oh, these are all like the foods, I guess. There's a cheesecake. I don't know why you'd go to Japan for a cheesecake and a hamburger, but hey, I guess uh, when you're at the pier, that's what you get. So that's really cool. And this is something I, I bought from him. He picked it up and asked me if I was interested. I definitely was. I'm really excited to get this. It's a Sonic Mania bandana. And you can see here it's got tails in the corner. It's got the Mania logo here and then Sonic and Knuckles on the other corners. And it has a little Green Hill shape going around here. Very cool. Um, I'm kind of... I've had a Sonic Mania collection going, so I was really happy to get this. And then we have, oh, look at this, Joypolis uh, Guides. This is something you get when you go to the arcade there. And it's got a bunch of stuff I can't read. Let's see how it folds out. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so it's got a map of the arcade, amusement center, big Sonic, uh, where is that? Big Sonic statue you can see here. There it is, yeah, at the top there. Um, Oh, that's really neat. Nice. Tower tag. I've always wanted to go to one of these. Someday. Someday. And then we have another little surprise here. It's a Sega bag with the Morse code going on at the top and bottom. And if you know what that says, sound off in the comments below and win my respect. That's cool. And another surprise item. So this... I don't know what this is. Oh, is it another, like, a bandana thing? Oh, okay, so it's like a Yokosuka... I don't know what the intent is. There's like a folded thing up here. I don't know what you do with it. I guess I'll have to ask him. It's like a fabric, and it's got 10, 15, 20, 17. I don't know what this means. It's like a banner or something? Oh, it's for a parade. Okay, so it's the 41st Yokosuka Mikoshi Parade. I guess that happened. That's cool. Nice to get something uh, that's not Shenmue, but Shenmue related. Maybe Ryo wears one of these. I don't know. Maybe we'll see in Shenmue 3. Um, what's next? We've got, oh, like a little 30% off Welcome to Joypolis flyer. That's cool. And then, okay, and then these are the Saturn demo discs that I also purchased from him. And so we've got Sega Screams Volume 1, which 
has uh, oh, Bug 2 and Baku Baku in a Mr. Bones video. Man, I, I don't know why the Saturn didn't sell well in America. Look at all those great games. Oh no, Virtual On's great though, Daytona. Uh, and this one's called Sega Saturn Choice Cuts. And what's on this? More Bug. Uh, oh, Clockwork Knight, that's cool. Mist. Wonder if I wonder if it's all playable or if some of them are videos. I'd be interested to see a Mist demo. Panzer Dragoon, that's really cool. Okay. What's inside? Oh, just the disc. Okay. Cool. Well, that uh, <laughs> just about does it. So we've got some pretty cool things. We've got the uh, the demo disc here, some flyers, a Yokosuka like parade thingy. I'll have to figure out what that is. Sega bag, Joypolis stuff. Sonic Mania Bandana, which is very cool. A Shenmue guide map, and that Virtua feeling, and then finally some wipes to uh, dry my manly tears. So, yeah, well, thanks to Treasure Hunting Sonic for uh, sending this stuff and for including a few surprises. And don't forget, we have a Sega Bits Patreon going on. You can check that out, link in description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you the next time I open a box or a bag or a packet or whatever. Bye!